Kirsty Allsop has spoken out after her co-star Phil Spencer's parents died in a tragic car accident on the family farm. Phil Spencer's dad Richard, 89, and his mum Anne, 82, died yesterday after their car careered into a river near their home in Kent, and his co-star has now shared some kind words after the crash. His location, location, location co-presenter Kirsty Allsop shared it was a comfort to Phil that his parents died together. Kirsty told fans to join her in, sending so much love, to her co-star following the tragic news. Sharing a photograph of the late couple, the 51-year-old wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, this lovely photograph, recently taken at their home in Kent, is of Anne and David Spencer. I am desperately sad to have to say that they were both killed yesterday in a car accident near their home. She added, they were farmers, animal lovers and devoted parents to Robert, Karen, Helen and Philip and adored their eight grandchildren. I suspect many of you may want to join me in sending so much love to Phil and all his family. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers, thank you. The star also shared it was a comfort for the Spencer family to know that Richard and Anne died together. Kirsty told The Sun, I've spoken to Phil and it's tragic for the Spencer family, but his parents were together and that's something that is a great source of solace to them all. The family is very loving and close. This is awful for all of the family, but they were together at the end and they were lovely people. They were both people of Christian faith. Phil and his siblings are all consoling each other at this difficult time. Richard and Anne shared four children, David, Phil, Karen and Helen. Kirsty shared how Phil's parents were on their way to a pub on Friday afternoon. Kent police said they were called at 12.36pm to a report of a single vehicle collision at Littlebourne. A spokesperson said, Officers attended along with other emergency services and a man and woman in their 80s were taken to a local hospital where they were later pronounced deceased. A third person, a woman in her 60s, was in the vehicle and sustained minor injuries. The next of kin has been informed and the report will now be prepared for the coroner. Three fire engines and a water rescue unit spent two hours removing the vehicle from the river. It remains unclear who was driving at the time of the accident.